Hey guys, I am hanging out with Paul Bedard from the Gator Boys, and we got an alligator right here. This is one of Paul's favorite alligators. Is this one of your favorite alligators? This is one of my favorite alligators. He's top, well right now he's number one because he's right here. You don't want to make him mad. Your favorite alligator is always the one that's right in front of you? Pretty much. And this guy is named Casper, and how many years have you been working with Casper? Casper's pretty trained. I've had Casper for about 17 years. Uh, when I originally caught him, he was pretty nasty. But I spent really? Like, he had an attitude. Yeah, he did. But I spent a lot of time just uh, just spending time with him, not touching him, not doing anything, just being around him, getting used to my presence. And eventually he figured out I wasn't a bad guy. And after about, probably took almost six months before he really got mellow. I think it's aggravated because his stick is bouncing off. He was mellow until he got poked by the stick. Yeah, pretty and then much. He, decided he started walking he over and it started sticking up in him. But he's he okay. He screw you. As long as nobody says Geronimo, he won't attack him. And he, super friendly guys, super friendly. Yeah. How know. long did it take you to train Casper to be this friendly? I didn't train him, I just conditioned him. I would spend days with him, like every day, I would go spend two, three hours with him. He'd try to bite me and then walk away and I'd sit next to him near his tail. And then he'd walk away again and I'd get closer. And eventually you he kind of inched your way up towards yeah. him. That's yeah. how, how you started with Yeah, him. and eventually I would, I would lay against him and he was like, all right, I guess you're okay. And then eventually you could kind of just see it where it clicked in and he was like, okay, you're not going to hurt me. You guys both seem very comfortable with this animal. I'm well, sorry. How old is Casper? Casper's up there. I would guess Casper would be probably around, ouch, I just slipped on a stick too. Casper, you're right, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, now you know how I feel. Yeah. Um, I would guess Cass would be somewhere around 40, 50, maybe even 60 years old. 60 years old? Possibly. That's old for an alligator. Yeah, they can live this up to 100 in captivity because obviously they get medical care. There's a lot less stress here. Um, but uh, in the wild, he would be about maxed out. Well, he has to compete with other gators too, right? He has right. to have that higher energy level in order to be right. able to... Yeah, I mean, if he gets sick, you know, he's... He's maxed out pretty much in size. Um, I don't think he'll get a whole lot bigger than this, but um, he'll start growing the way we do. We get older, we start growing this way. So he's probably not going to grow too much longer, but he'll get a little bit thicker. But in the wild, he might run into an 11 foot alligator that outweighs him by you know three three times, and uh, have a brawl. Yeah, if there's a if there's a um, territorial. Where does Casper come from? He's not gonna he's not gonna. Do you catch Casper well. yourself? Yeah, out of the wild. Yep, Casper is actually trying to get into another animal enclosure. Uh, out of a canal. He was trying to get into like a chicken coop or something. I can't remember exactly okay. what it was. And uh, so they called me out there and um, yeah, he was uh, he was a handful. He was not uh, he was not this placid little puppy dog you see in front of you. Um, my baby boy. It's okay, daddy's here. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here, mama. I'm right here. Do you think he rec recognizes you? Absolutely. Yeah? Without a doubt. Um, his eyesight's not the best. He's got cataracts in both eyes. His, his eyesight's very uh, just old age, just like just like people. Yeah, his, his eyes are very uh, his vision's very compromised. But he knows my voice. I mean, you saw when I came in and called him, he came right he over. He came right over. Yeah, he knows. Me. Same with Bandit. Bandit knows me. Came right over. Of course, when Bandit came over, all the rest thought it was feeding time. I'm like, oh, yeah, they're all fall over. Where's he going? But nobody else reacted when I said Bandit. Only Bandit reacted to that. But um. Yeah, he's a good old boy. He's just chilling. He's totally, totally calm. Totally just chilling. And how long did you say it took you probably to work to that inching up very slowly to get him? I'd say a year before I could do what we can do now, where you can like actually pet him on the face. And, you know, you couldn't do this. Yeah, because well, you're right in his bite radius. You right. can, oh, yeah, he can he, totally he nail you. If he wanted to gone. nail you right now, it's gone. I got no chance. No yes. chance. Um, people, I mean, you know, people always talk about, you know, can they be domesticated or tamed or whatever. You know, and then they say, you can never really trust them. They're always a wild animal. That's the thing I always hear. It's like, yeah, he's not. I'm sorry. I disagree 100%. You don't, he's, you don't think he's, you wouldn't, you wouldn't agree with that? No, I trust him. I trust him more than I trust. I've worked with all kinds of different animals, but. You trust him more than you trust your last girlfriend. Uh, I don't want to say that, but uh, <laughs> probably not true. <laughs> she was okay. Um, but uh, no, I trust him. I trust him more than I trust like a big cat. Yeah. It has emotions. 
You know what I mean? They have a bad day and just be like, yeah, I'm not in the mood today. These guys are fairly robotic and they're going to give you a pretty constant... Uh, a little more dependable than... Yeah, than, and, and, than if, and, and if he's in a bad mood, I'll let you know he lives at you. He's not going to bite you anyway. <laughs> it's just he's like, shut up. You he hits like five times. Yeah. But you were swimming with him. Yeah, but he's not He's not going to do anything. That's his way of saying, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, leave me alone. But, um... Yeah, if you were liking, if you were to be rough with him, I mean, he's going to defend himself like any of them. Same as your dog. You know, your dog is, you know, your your best friend. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, I mean, you start pounding on him. He's right. Like, if what are you bit, doing, man? If you bit a chunk of flesh off your dog, he's going to react. Exactly. If a same as I start biting him on the leg, he's going to, well. He wouldn't feel it. He'd walk away. But <laughs> Yeah, he's got some pretty good. Yeah, he's he's got some thick old skin on there. So. So you've got a YouTube channel that you just started, right? We're starting it, yeah. What's but, the name of it, man? Um, I think we're going to call it uh, Gator Boy and Inspector Planet. I'm not sure where it's uh, kind of in the works. Probably so just Gator guys, Boy. You guys, just Gator it, Boy? It may not be Gator out Boys. there yet. It may not be out there yet. But if you guys if you guys happen to, I don't know, check, when, when do you think it'll be out there? Come on. Nah, probably like, the, I think in December. In December. Come so, back yeah. in December and go out and uh, check out uh, Paul's channel. Yeah, just go go check out Tracy at Instagram, at <laughs> Inspector Planet, and then she'll uh, she'll let you know. She's into all that stuff. <laughs> with that stuff.